You may have noticed that in space, on really big ships, at least in Star Trek, no one ever sits down. They just stand at these consoles that inexplicably explode the minute some kind of proton torpedo comes anywhere near the ship. Bloop, bloop. Those things are really dangerous, and we're making them. Bloop. These may or may not explode. Uh, this is this is lying on its back, but we are uh, we're making uh, command consoles that uh, that contain not just puzzles, but they're special effects pieces. Uh, so that uh, the puzzle is also a special effects device. Really cool lighting and optical effects and stuff like that, and all the stuff that makes the the, the spaceship the spaceship, and you interact with all that cool tech stuff to make it all work. They don't explode, right? They do explode. Okay, that's. That's, that's what the charge is for. As part of, uh, as part of this console, uh, there's this trim bezel right here that will show you an insert shot. Hey, look, there's an insert shot of Matt standing by the uh, console. Um, we made these bezels that go around this, this opening in the front. Uh, there will be puzzle stuff that you have to interact with there. Uh, but Matt had this cool idea of nesting all of these panel components within this space. Um, Making a bezel on a CNC machine is usually horrifically wasteful. Yeah, all but, of this um, would be wasted. We get to use it for other stuff. So rather than do that, we uh, uh, we cut all these panels th these uh, these panels out, and these panels will uh, will go up on the walls to create texture. In doing this, we've been looking a lot at our favorite sci-fi uh, uh, movies and shows, and and kind of how their art direction goes. And one of the key things is. Nothing's ever really square. You don't just have boring, square, rectilinear pedis, pedis, pet, 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 pediums? Consoles. You don't have square consoles um, in any kind of modern or good sci-fi. You might see those in like the old stuff like Flash Gordon where uh, they had, you know, a dollar and, and a, that was about it for their budget. So we have uh, the angle here, 15-degree uh, angle. We have the, uh, the lightning holes, because in space, you, everything needs to be lighter and, and weight savings. So this is less weight to launch this whole thing into space. Also, you probably shouldn't use MDF if you go into space, because it's just unnecessarily heavy. The bases are pretty much done. Next step is Mark's going to paint these, and I'm working on the tops. We're going to be doing uh, very similar to what we did on the, uh, the override cards from a previous video. Um, same game and everything uh, with the etched acrylic and all that. We're going to try to one-up that. We found that when we did this a while back for the uh, video game museum, it looks really, really cool when you have the clear plex and it's just glowing there and you can see through it. But once you put a uh, backer behind it, it kind of loses, it loses depth. Uh, so we're going to put a mirror under the, um, under the acrylic and kind of see what that does with making it just cooler. So stay tuned. You should be seeing that in... Um, Probably about 30 seconds, because uh, I'm going to go make it, then show you. The first version of this, uh, the idea was to put the, uh, as a backer, we're going to use uh, their black or gray Sintra, which looks just like this. This is actually gray Sintra. And uh, you still have the, uh, it lights up, you have the, the etch, it's all cool. But it'd be way cooler if we used a mirror. That'll give us um, a, a much, more, much more depth. You don't just have the, the flat backer. So here we have a uh, bit of standoff uh, with the lights on the mirror. So you have that, that, that double etched effect. You can see it twice. And with the mirror, you also see reflected the rest of the room. Just gives it, uh, it's, it's more luminous. It's cooler. And um, this test looks pretty good. So we are definitely going to go with this. Probably a little less of a standoff in the final, but uh, that'll do it. Matt's got his, uh, this uh, circuitry pattern etched into the surface. This will actually be flipped over, so it'll be on the underside. We've got our mirror panel cut. All this still has the protective paper on it and pl protective plastic over the mirror here, uh, so we don't scratch it while we're handling it. But uh, this mirror thing is a fantastic idea. I can't credit Matt enough for that. And, this, and the, uh, 
Uh, circuitry pattern was not something that was part of our original design. This was just going to be a blank sci-fi panel with, with buttons and switches on it and whatever you needed to do to operate the game. Uh, this, is a, this is a much more effects driven way to do this. It's a lot more labor, but it, we, our ego gets the better of us sometimes. And we're like, we come up with an idea and it doesn't really matter how much extra time it's going to take, which is not good business. Wanna push the button? You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. I'm not ready anymore. Do it. Bah! Oh, that's bad. Ah, okay. All right, so buttons are not lit, but. Yeah. Oh my God, look at, look at, it multiples in there. Yeah. Because it's also reflecting off the Holy back of the flex. Holy crap! Oh, that's beautiful. We should have done this, friend. We can't show this to, to no. Joe. No, 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 no. No them. previous clients. <laughs> oh, yeah. Make wow. Make the buttons light, these guys light, and the key looks gonna light up. Actually, like I wanted to hide all of the, uh, basically all the, the countersink in there to get the nuts in, but I really like that glow stack. Yeah. All right, so um, we'll uh, we'll come back with with some more, but uh, these buttons both light up. These are two LEDs that also light up in the panel, and a key to activate the panel. This surprised us. I cannot tell you how impressed I am with this, and it looks better in person. I, I wish, we've got some good shots. Hopefully that'll show you something that we see, or something of what we see. Here's the kicker, this is just the beginning. You have no, this is the boring part. You have no idea how cool this Wait, is gonna be. I, I don't? I should go figure that out. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you do. Computer's um, over here. Where am I going? This is the boring part of the the whole thing. So, uh, and obviously it's not boring, but uh, but this is just the start. Um, I think we can just have this as a two part because we have to build the rest of it and put that on camera and stuff like that to show you. Um, but uh, but stay tuned on this. This is going to knock your socks off and other things. So. Uh, share this with your friends. Uh, we're trying to like uh, have the, the share thing go as far as it can. So share away.